Welcome to my lab. In today's lab, we're going to finalize MEM. MEM is minimal essential media. We've added all the essential components that can be autoclaved. We've autoclaved it to sterilize it, and now we need to add in some new components that could not be autoclaved. They've been filter sterilized, and we'll add them in now. The hood has been set up, sterilized. We've placed all of our components inside. We loosen our caps and mix our solutions before we get started. Remember, loosening the caps will help you to open the caps with one hand. Notice I have a tube here. It's glutamine and it's frozen. It's clear when it's thawed out. When it's frozen, it's milky. We'll warm it up and it will go clear. We'll use the heat from my hand to do that. Today we're going to finalize two bottles. The final volume will be 500 mils. In here we have about 480 milliliters of our solution. We'll start by adding a 5 mil pipette. And here we have sodium bicarbonate, 7.5% weight by volume. We're going to add 2.5 mils of our 7.5% sodium bicarbonate to each of these containers. Notice what happens when we add it in. There is phenol red inside a pH indicator, and as we add this, it will change the pH by making it more basic. Initially, when you add it, it will turn red, and then as it dissolves, the solution will just become more orange, not so bright yellow. So our sodium bicarbonate has been added. This works in conjunction with our heapies as buffering agents. Next up, we'll add our glutamine. Five mils of glutamine to each bottle. I believe the concentration is 200 millimolar glutamine. Notice I've already made aliquots of this. It was filter sterilized and then placed into 5.1 mil aliquots for later use. We've added the one in. Now time for the next aliquot. Remember, it was frozen. Glutamine is not stable when it's in liquid form. If you're going to make it up, you have to freeze it. When you thaw it out, it will go from a milky to a clear solution. I'm going to use the heat from my hand to warm it up. It will take some time. Be patient. Now that we've warmed it up, it is now clear. Now we'll add it into our MEM. We'll add 5 mils of our 200 millimolar glutamine into a, a final volume of 500 mils of our MEM.
Next up, we're going to add in bovine calf serum. Bovine calf serum is added because it's full of growth factors. You could purchase purified growth factors, but it's much cheaper just to use bovine calf serum. We're going to add 50 mils to each for a final volume of 500 mils, meaning this will be a 10% solution of bovine calf serum. Now you cannot freeze a 50 mil aliquot in a 50 mil tube. The water inside will expand, it'll pop the tube off. So I've thawed out a 500 mil bottle and made 25 mil aliquots for freezing. As a result, I will be adding two in. Please note, when you suck up your serum into your pipette, it tends to drip out the bottom. So make sure you hold your pipette over your waste beaker so that you're not putting drips on the surface. As I stated, the bovine calf serum contains growth factors. These growth factors are necessary for our cells to divide. Without serum, there's no subculturing because your cells will not expand in confluency. As a general rule, you will always add your serum last, especially when it's fetal bovine serum. Serum is quite expensive, and if somehow you messed up your solution, you don't want to waste any of your serum. That's why I'd always recommend adding your serum last. After adding this in, my solutions will be complete with the exception of setting them to the proper pH. For my students, I usually allow the first bottle to have antibiotics added. It is a commercial cocktail of penicillin and streptomycin. I, however, do not use or need antibiotics in my media, so you will not see me add that in. Now before we pH them, let's make sure they're both homogenous by mixing them thoroughly. We need to raise the pH up. To do that, we're going to add 5 normal NaOH. For 500 mils, it takes somewhere between 60 and 80 drops. As you get close to 60 drops, just do 5 at a time. Five normal NaOH does not have to be sterilized. Why? Well, it sterilizes itself. We're going to shake out a pasture pipette, add our pasture pipette bulb, and we will draw up some sodium hydroxide. Please be careful. If you drop this on your skin, it will cause damage. To start with, usually I add 20 drops right off the bat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Okay, I guess I add 40 drops. Notice it's quite beautiful. It's red on the bottom, orange in the middle, and yellow on the top. However, we need to thoroughly mix it. I'll tighten the cap and do an inversion. Notice the solution is now orange. We don't want orange, we want cherry red. But don't add too much that it turns pink. So we're at 40. Forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty, fifty-one.
52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62. It's getting closer to cherry red, but I still see some orange there. So I'm going to add a little bit more, I think. 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. Give it a mix. It's looking a lot more red now. Still see a bit of orange in it though, so I'm gonna add a little bit more, I think. Seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five. Seventy six, seventy seven, seventy eight. I now like the look of that. Nice cherry red. I don't see any orange and I don't see any pink, just red. So I think I'm done with that one. Seventy eight drops. Notice the difference between the two. So let's add in seventy eight drops to this one and we'll be done. And there you have it, two finalized bottles of MEM. Now, I'm finalizing two bottles because I require a lot of MEM. Normally, I would only tell you to finalize one. It'll last longer without the extra components as yellow form than after when you finalize it. Store this in the fridge and hopefully it'll be gone within a month or two. We'll see you in the lab.